Uh, missed a chance a little while ago. His brother, of course, uh, an Irish football international. That's Dara, who plays for Middlesbrough. Meath holding on. I don't think they'll be too ambitious or too adventurous. They'll be safe and they'll be trying to retain possession as much as they possibly can. Donald Kogan back, Harnan involved. Two old stagers by this point of their career. Matthew Costello penned in. Well, they thought he was penned in, but he extricates himself beautifully. It's still Costello elegantly carrying it forward. Nice artistry. Great score by Costello. That's a brilliant individual. Wonderful point in this Taunton Cup final. And it's a three point difference again. Brilliant by Costello. I thought, to be honest, I thought he would have played keep ball and went backwards. Maybe Down thought the same, but showed brilliant feet work and then that power that he obviously has cutting through and how often have we seen that Meath's big men this second half have had a huge huge influence their power coming through and the number of scores they've got from the likes of Jack Flynn and Costello himself there Laverty back in as far as Kerr again looking for something Kerr lots and lots of Meath players are back there he boots it with the left he's got a point they're still very much alive in this once more it's a two point game Great score by Liam Kerr, the Burren player. Very speedy, marauding type of attacker. So we got another three minutes still to go, and Conor Laverty still full of hope. You just do get the chance, or they do get the feeling that Down will have a have a chance to potentially pull this game out of the fire. It's just the nature of games when there is so many mistakes as we've seen today. Sean Coffey. Ready to raid again, helped out by Ronan Ryan. Notionally the fullback. In as far as Harry O'Higgins, they didn't start him. The ball runs away from him, and that's important for Down because they've been able to pick it up there through the ruggedly determined Anthony Doherty. He was fouled. The referee wants to uh, speak and uh, make his notes, do a little ticking. Down wanted to just get, just get on with it. Don't want to use any uh, wasted seconds. There was a yellow card dished out there, but really. Down just wanted to get the ball away down as quickly as they could. Lenehan, the yellow card recipient. So just look at the clock. You can just see over two minutes still to go. Meath hanging on. Down it comes to Paddy Brannigan for down. They need to make this attack count. Ryan Johnson. Donald McAleenan. But Johnson taking it forward. As far as Pierce Laverty. Laverty challenging. Indoor side towards Havern. Down. Looking for a goal here if they can get it. But Eugene Brannigan couldn't hold on. And that was enough to allow Jack Flynn come in. Take possession. Withstand the challenge there. A burly challenge from Anthony Doherty. And the referee wants to bring it back again. And have words with Doherty. Me just wanted to carry it forward. Both sides looking very weary, and that deserved the yellow card from Anthony Doherty. And perfect for me to sort of kill a wee bit of time as well, but Eugene Brannigan there, he's been guilty of a few mistakes now today, and that there one just at such a critical moment of the game to let turnover happen so cheaply. Two points the margin, he's within touching distance, Colm O'Rourke, of winning silverware for his native Meath. Is there anything Conor Lafferty and Down can do about it? They can start by trying to win this ball here in that tussle with Killian O'Sullivan. They've done that. Mihal Rooney trying to emerge, fouled by Sean Coffey. Free kick coming up, but look at the clock. About 30 seconds of the five additional minutes still to be played. The referee has the option of allowing a little bit more. Liam Kerr, two between them. That's Shane Annette, fired in. Could have gone anywhere, spills around there. Meath reacting quickest, going back to take it, getting possession, getting it away out as far as Connor Gray. A Meath team that finished sixth in Division Two. That forced them to play in the Talton Cup and not in the Sam Maguire Cup. Here they come now. Their tails are up. They're up by two. We played the five. This would give them a golden ticket into next year's Sam Maguire, but they want to win this. And Jack O'Connor can round it off. Stop. Oh, it's in. 
Jack O'Connor has come on. He's been the hero. He's got a goal and two. And me, they're now definitely going to win the 2023 Tarleton Cup. Jack O'Connor stopped initially by the goalkeeper's save, but it did go in in the end. Had sufficient taste. And there's the final whistle from referee Noel Mooney. It's all over. Colm O'Rourke and me are the Tarleton Cup champions. They've done it. They were the better team all the way through. They uh, had the fortune, good fortune really, to get a really poxy goal in the first half, but it set them up. Second half, no question, they were the better force. Absolutely, their second half performance was highly impressive. First half performance, they put down under great pressure from their kickout and defensively were, were reasonably good. They were misfiring up front, but they got that sorted at half.